Welcome back to the channel, my friends, Warhammer Man Studios. I'm Warhammer Man, and today we're taking a look at what's to come for the new age of Sigmar. This video is sponsored by CMO Games. More on that later. What does new AOS mean for the old battle tones? So obviously we're ushering in a brand new edition of Warhammer Fantasy Age of Sigmar. And with that comes some current changes. And we're likely to see some of those changes reflect like some of the stuff that we saw in 40k and with previous editions. So today we're going to be taking a look at exactly what it means to go to like the indexes, what that's going to mean for the old battle tones, and then what is to come from there, how that's good, how it could be potentially bad. And I'll give you guys my opinion on everything. After nearly 10 years in service, the rules for Warhammer Age of Sigmar are receiving their first ground up rewrite. And as we'll start to see in deep dives on the Warhammer community beginning tomorrow, this is a cause for celebration. It doesn't mean that the rules are changing just for the sake of it. In fact, the framework remains much the same, and the majority of changes are smart refinements that will improve the all-around experience. So I think that's important and worth note that basically we've had three editions of Age of Sigmar so far, but the rule set has essentially been like the initial rule set and then the evolution of those same rules. As where with this edition, Warhammer Age of Sigmar 4th edition, we're going to see like the first new proprietary rule set and very likely Games Workshop will be taking all of the positives from the previous edition as well as everything they've learned in Warhammer 40k and some of the other games and then rolling that up into what I presume will be the best edition of Warhammer Age of Sigmar to date. Every single war scroll is changing. The team took the opportunity at the outset to measure up each profile and every faction to see whether their basic stat line felt right. How does a Grot stack up against a mortal human, for instance, or a Saurus against an Auric? Over the course of this process, war scroll design has changed, as has the kind of information that goes on it. Some characteristics have been renamed for clarity. For instance, wounds has become health, while miniatures can now fight in melee if they're within 3-inch combat range of opponents. Speeding up pylons and combat resolution and can now contest an objective with a model within 3 inches of a 40 millimeter objective marker. So obviously wounds is cool and everything, but I've been calling it health for the longest time, so Games Workshop taking a page out of my book. And then of course we see like the 3 inch combat range gets rid of some of like the overcomplicated elements of combat with like the 1 and 2 inch reach and everything like that. And it's much more similar to what we see in 40k. So obviously in 40k we have pile-in and consolidation moves of 3 inches. In this case, you're not going to get that extra move necessarily, but you'll just be able to fight within three inches. So again, it's not going to be the same game as 40k, but we'll take some of those same elements and roll them up in a functional way. And then also the objective marker is kind of shrinking. So you'll have a 40 millimeter objective marker and then within three inches, essentially what we're seeing in 40k. So now that will actually make the game much more concentrated into a smaller area, causing a lot more action in my opinion, which is what it's all about. If you have an overly large objective marker, it's easy for there to be a bunch of stuff on an objective marker that's not interacting with each other from both sides of the table. So in this case, that's going to force everybody to fight, force everybody to the center to claim and fight over that objective as it should be. So very cool changes in my opinion. And again, just positive stuff overall. Universal special rules are in and there's a manageable amount, making them easy to recall. Battleshock has been removed and there are meaningful command abilities in every round with a clear and simple sequencing. But if you want to use them, you'll have to deal with the strict command point economy. So again, I think over the time, over additions, things got quite bloated. Uh, everything from like the actual battle shock to like the command phase, command abilities, and then like the actual command point generation and usage of those command points just became like overly gluttonous and complicated, much like we saw in 40k. And then they rolled back just how many command points that each player got and made those command points a much more valuable resource and refining it, making it overall better because the more scarce a resource is, the more valuable it is. So very cool, and again, sounds like some great changes in my opinion. Now a quick message from today's sponsor. CMO Games has been selling Games Workshop products online for over 20 years. They carry the full line of Games Workshop products, including Warhammer 40,000, Age of Sigmar, Necromunda, Blood Bowl, Paint Tools, and more. Almost all Games Workshop products are priced at 15% off MSRP. CMO Games takes pre-orders for most Games Workshop products released at their earliest date possible. 12.01 a.m. on Saturday, they go live. Most of these pre-order products are also priced at 15% off MSRP. CMO Games offer free shipping in the U.S. 48 with an order of $50 or more. Their customer service is top-notch and they ship most orders within 24 hours. Visit CMOGames.com using the affiliate link in the description and let them know that you heard about CMO Games from Warhammer Man. Now, back to the video. Everything you can do in the game is now an ability from moving, fighting, shooting, and casting spells to the unique actions found on your War Scrolls. These abilities have clear sequencing, a declare step, and an effect step. And their timing is written out, color-coded, and uses symbols, making it incredibly easy to understand at a glance which phase you can perform each action in and what it does. The modular nature of the new rule set is something we'll explain more about in due course. 
but essentially the core rules are supported by a series of more advanced plug and play additions. It's perfectly possible and quite satisfying to play without magic, for instance, while at higher levels, new battle packs and general handbooks can slot in the same way. However, with changes this fundamental to the core building blocks of the game, it does mean the previous rules and rulebooks have been superseded. Every current battle tome will retire when the new edition drops, but every faction will receive a free downloadable index on or shortly after release. So again, very similar to what we saw in Warhammer 40k, and I think this is a great idea because everyone starts the edition on like an even playing field. So all of the old battle tomes will basically be useless. None of the rules will transfer over as written. And of course, that is a crucial and integral part of a brand new edition or new rule set, not just like the continuation or modification of the previous rule set. So that being said, I think 40K went through a transition from 9th edition, which was in a very good place, into 10th edition. There was a little bit of like a rocky start off to it. But now, after a few months, it's in a great place. We've got a bunch of indexes still in effect that are very competitive. And then we also have a bunch of the codex books that have dropped that are fully flushed out and very, very cool. And I suspect that we'll see the same thing for Sigmar. There'll probably be an initial rocky start as everyone gets used to the rules. The internet tries to break everything. And then as the actual battle tomes roll out, a couple of FAQs, balanced status slates, and some fixes for like unintended like side effects or special abilities, we likely see Sigmar in a very, very good place a few months after launch. These indexes provide a competitive and satisfying experience right from the outset. You'll be able to buy physical faction packs from the outset, which contain your army rules, sub-faction rules, enhancements, including spell lures, and all your war scroll cards for both Spearhead and regular Warhammer Age of Sigmar. And of course, these indexes will be replaced by new look battle tomes for every faction as the edition matures. Our investigations on the nuance of the new rules begin tomorrow when we look through what modularity actually means in the context of Warhammer Age of Sigmar. So there's a couple links down here at the bottom if you want to dive in deeper. We have the new trailer with some amazing moments, studio interview and changes, Mortal Realms lore, Battle Tomes in the new edition, which is the current article we're looking at. And then, of course, Choose a Side, Stormcast Eternals, or Skaven, which will be the new factions from the box set. And just as a further note, I'm extremely excited for what amounts to Spearhead, which will be like the Sigmar version of Combat Patrol. Combat Patrol is a load of fun. It's a nice, balanced, quick way to get started. And I suspect Spearhead will be the same way. And if there is one like quick little piece of advice I would give, they should release a roadmap relatively early into the edition. And I think it's worth paying attention what like the first few index releases will be and then just sort of like avoiding those index card bundles as they will be like the quickest to be invalidated. So you'll get the least for your money. But if you're not in like the initial launch, the initial like three, six, nine, or even 12 months worth of books that are coming out, it's much more viable to drop like 15 to $30 on a card set that you'll be able to use for like the coming years. Alternatively, obviously, you can hold out for the actual book itself and then the cards that go along with it once they get their battle tome, or just skip them all together if you're not into that stuff and you prefer like digital or have other resources. So very, very cool. Everything I've read and seen so far from Adepticon and from these articles sounds awesome. I am super excited for the new edition of Sigmar, and we're going to be launching an Escalation League and a lot of other like exciting stuff to come, so you guys can follow along on the journey with that. Obviously, as always, look forward to seeing your opinions and comments down below. Always like to hear back from you guys. And of course, special thanks to CMO Games for sponsoring the video. Check out the link in the description to save 15% on Games Workshop products. That's it for today. Warhammer Man Studios. I'm Warhammer Man, and I cannot wait to see the contents of the new launch box. And I'm out of here.